This is a Frauscher 750 Saint Tropez, powered by an electric motor. But this sleek launch is no milk float. That's 17 knots from a bank of batteries designed to start tanks. Replacing the powerful inboard diesel is this water-cooled 53 horsepower DC motor with enough grunt to make you grin. Austrian manufacturer Frauscher has been pioneering electric boating since the 1930s. But electrification became more of a necessity in the 1970s. By then, local authorities began restricting combustion engines on Austria's beautiful alpine lakes. And in some areas, they banned them altogether. This led Frauscher to develop sleek, easily driven hulls and efficient electric installations for yachts and hire fleets alike. But battery power has always been a limiting factor. It takes nearly a tonne of these lithium mangan batteries to deliver that impressive 17 knots for just over an hour. But Frauscher are about to reveal the very latest in power generation, the hydrogen fuel cell. And the international press loved it. A fuel cell is often described as a gas-powered battery. Hydrogen is fed to an anode and oxygen to a cathode to create an electric current. This power is used to drive an electric motor, with a surplus being used to top up the batteries. But where does hydrogen actually come from? So what Froneos do is like we produce our hydrogen. We produce it out of water with the help of solar energy in form of electrolysis, electrical energy that comes out from the sun. We put into electrolyzer and there we got our, we call it green hydrogen. Highly compressed hydrogen is stored in these 27 litre gas refills. And for those of you who may be a little concerned about the safety of such an explosive gas, then please, don't worry. Just look at the way the Phonius engineers are manhandling these fully charged containers. In fact, you're more at risk from not tying the boat up properly. <laughs> With the boat under control again, the ultra-safe cylinder costing 8,000 euros is lowered back into the hull. And if you need any further reassurance, then why not get on top of it and give it a good kick? In the bottle it was hydrogen, compressed hydrogen to 350 bars. And in our full cell, it's burned with oxygen from the from the air, from the air, and this produces uh, energy, electrical energy. And the burning, the exhaust gas of the burning process is water. Because the fuel cell project is initially intended for higher fleets, the motor being used is really quite small, so no driving license is required. Yes, this is the 4.3 kilowatt electrical engine. It's mounted on top of the sail drive. And the very special thing is what you see here, we, we turn the sail drive. Because we don't expect this kind of customer to do the perfect boat, so it must be very easy to handle. There's enough power to push the boat along at 5 knots, with a range of 80 kilometers on one hydrogen cylinder. It's silent running, just the faint whir of the motor and the slap and chuckle of water against the hull. So the full system is now running on 5 kilowatts out of power. And if you can imagine a, a petrol-driven engine, it doesn't make any noise. And the petrol engine would be very uh, loud. And here, you can hear just the water, that's all. And, and the output is water, and not CO2 or uh, coal monoxide or whatever. It's just water. So green energy. It was certainly an impressive demonstration. The price structure so far is aimed at the commercial sector, but it won't be long before it's more widely available. But one last nagging worry about a hydrogen leak. You can see two holes here. These uh, two holes are for the security system. And what we do is like we ventilate the air through the chamber of, this, of the boat. And if there is any uh, hydrogen concentration detected there, uh, the, uh, the boat will stop working. It'll never it will never happen. <laughs> With the cutting edge technology of Fronius fuel cells and bitter refuelers, Combined with the stylish and often radical designs from Frauscher boats, then these are exciting times. 
Hopefully, it won't be long before this boat can cruise at 17 knots plus on a totally renewable fuel made from pure sunshine and leaving nothing but pure water as waste. Now that's green motorboating.